Jacobit here with Figboot on pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Over the last few years, the Italian retailer Stilo and Stile have done a fantastic job of coming out with some really nice limited edition offerings around this time of year. If you are not familiar with them, they are a retail shop and an online store located in Rome, Italy. Here is their quaint little street, and here is the shop. One of these days, I need to take a trip to Italy and visit a large number of pen manufacturers and shops. Uh, there's enough throughout the country where that would be a rather fun trip. Stilo and Stile have historically released something for Fountain Pen Day, which this year falls on Friday, November 1st, uh, as well as a Black Friday offering as well. Uh, it's been something where each of these offerings over the years has really knocked it out of the park, and I look forward to seeing what they will come up with next. Well, today I have for you their Fountain Pen Day offering, and later in November I'll have the Black Friday one to share with you as well. Uh, the Fountain Pen Day pen is a partnership with Radius. Uh, if you don't recall, Radius is a brand produced by the team from Leonardo, and the name of the pen is the Desiderio. Uh, what I am going to do today is go over the parts and features of this poetic offering, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Stilo and Stile for providing this pen for review. It arrives in this standard radius box. Uh, inside, kind of wrapped around the box, is some warranty uh, information as well as some information about the history of radius. Uh, Radius is an Italian brand which produced fountain pens for around 20 years from the mid-1930s into the mid-1950s. Uh, as I mentioned, Radius is owned by Leonardo, and they began producing pens under the Radius brand about five years ago based on historical designs. And inside the box, here is the pen. This is the Stilo and Stile Radius Settimo Desiderio. Uh, Settimo is the name of the model, which means seventh in Italian, and the name of this pen is the Desiderio. Uh, Desiderio is an Italian word meaning uh, like desire or wish. Uh, it's a word that has a, a bit of weight to it. It derives from a Latin word meaning lack of something or longing for something. Uh, the word star was also derived from this Latin word and was used to mean kind of for like the longing for something we don't have, like the stars shining bright above that can't be reached. Uh, this poetic background beholds the bond between desires, aspirations, and dreams. Uh, like you would look up into the sky to find their inspiration. And I find the white flecks mixed in with the deep blue Italian resin really evokes the image of a cloudless night sky. Okay, let's take a look at the parts and features of this celestial offering. The top of the cap comes to a rounded point. Uh, then we have the clip. Uh, as with the other elements of this pen, this is similar to the original design. I don't find the clip overly exciting looks-wise, but it is functional and easily accommodates materials of varying thicknesses. Uh, the cap tapers up until about the last inch where it straightens out. Uh, on the back of the cap, it will be engraved. The specific pen I have here is an early production model which wasn't engraved, but for the ones with engraving, it will say Radius, Stilo and Stile, and the number of the pen. This will be a limited edition offering of 224 units, 24 being because this is 2024. For last year's Fountain Day model, they made 223. My guess is next year the offering will be 225 units. I can see the pattern. Uh, at the end of the cap, just past the band, it angles down a bit, minimizing the step down from the cap to the barrel. The barrel is straight for about two inches before tapering down slowly, and the end comes to a rounded point, a bit smaller than the one found at the top of the cap. The cap twists off with a single rotation, and underneath we have a number six stainless steel Yovo nib. Uh, it's available in a standard variety of nib sizes, uh, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 stub. Uh, it's also available in a couple of uh, flex versions, I think flex extra fine and flex fine. It's nicely engraved with the name of the company as well as Superior, which is something the original models included on their nibs, as well as 1934, which was the year Radius was originally founded. And here's a look 
at the plastic feed. The section begins with a bit of an angle and then slowly rises until you reach the threads and a negligent step up to the remainder of the barrel. Um, this is a medium-sized pen and is plenty long enough to use unposted. The cap does post and it does post securely. Um, I find it to be well balanced uh, and posting doesn't throw off that balance or backweight the pen. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges and a converter is provided. Uh, with the metal contained in this housing, eye dropping this pen would not be advisable. The Radius Settimo Desiderio is available exclusively through the Stilo and Stile website. Uh, they will be going on sale October 31st at 6 p.m. Italy time. Uh, the U.S. East Coast is six hours behind Italy, so that would be noon Eastern on uh, October 31st. The price for this pen is 150 euros, which equates to about $160 depending on the exchange rate. But there's also a special Fountain Pen Day discount code, which will get you an additional 10% off, bringing the cost of the pen down to about $145. Um, I'll show the code here on the screen. It is FPD2024 and will be valid from now until 1159 Italy time on Sunday, November 3rd. So essentially it's good for Fountain Pen Day and the weekend thereafter. Uh, especially with the discount, I feel that that's a reasonable price for what you receive with this pen. Um, I do care for the resin. I think it looks really sharp. Uh, Stilo and Stile's limited editions tend to not stay available for very long, so if this pen is something you're interested in, I would suggest taking action sooner rather than later, because once they are gone, they will be gone. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the uh, Stilo and Stile Radius uh, Settimo Desiderio. Uh, I wanted to give you another closer look and how I, I really think that those spots, especially here on the barrel, just kind of really look like a, uh, a cloudless night sky. Uh, and you can see when it's a little close, they're just little flecks. But then some of the swirls and the patterning, uh, it just has a really interesting look to it. And in regard to some size comparisons, uh, in regard to a couple of other Radius models, this was one from Stilo and Stile. This is the uh, Prisma. Uh, and then another one that was a big hit last year, or maybe it was the year before last, uh, was the Cometa. I just really love the Cometa. This was a, a Memento Zero. Uh, this was one of my favorite versions, or a favorite uh, limited edition partnerships that Stilo and Stile have ever done. That was just fantastic. Uh, and then also we have a Leonardo Micarta version. And you can see the Micarta one was just slightly uh, larger than the Cometa. Here's one more radius. This is the radius I partnered with earlier in this year. This was the Blue Flame. Uh, and then here is a Sailor Pro Gear, and this is the Imperial Black. And then finally, I just have to show it. I do still have a couple units available uh, of my Montegrappa uh, release. This is the Montegrappa uh, Aurora Borealis. And it's hard to see here, but it does glow in the dark. I don't want to turn off the lights again. But um, I was really pleased with the way this turned out. Um, they are available only through uh, figboot.com. A nice ruthenium trim and a ruthenium nib uh, and a plated nib. Uh, and I was really pleased with the, the ways those turned out. And uh, really looking forward to getting these in customers' hands very shortly. In regard to uncap comparisons, uh, here it is with the Pro Gear. Uh, and then here it is with the Memento Zero. And then finally, here it is with that uh, Montegrappa. And that is the, the La Fenicia model. Or that's the, the model of the pen, but that, that's the name of the model. Okay, so here we have the writing sample with the Stilo and Stile Radius. Settimo 
and this is the Desiderio. And this is a medium stainless steel nib. Uh, and the ink that I'm using is one I wanted, I, uh, I really enjoy. And I thought that it matched well with the overall theme and look of this pen, which was Dominant Industries. Milky Way Blue. This is what the ink looks like. It's a really nice ink. It's a nice deep blue with some red sheen and some uh, kind of bluish purple uh, shimmer to it. Um, somewhat similar to something like the uh, Endless Alchemy Candy C. Uh, and these are some other heavy uh, sheening inks. Diamine Bloody Brexit. Um, then here it is with the KWZ Sheen Machine, uh, as well as the uh, Vinta Blue Blood. Uh, each of these are kind of heavy uh, blue inks with some nice kind of purplish reddish uh, sheen to them. This is what the 25 milliliter bottles look like. This is in their Pearl series. You can see there is the shimmer that's inside there. So when we shake it up, then the shimmer. Well, I have to shake it up a little bit more, but you can see how it's diminished. Uh, but that's when it goes in there. And it's a, a really nice ink. I've enjoyed this one a lot. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Uh, this medium nib is very nice. Um, it has a, a little bit of feedback to it. Um, it's fairly smooth. You're not going to get a lot of line variation out of there. But I would say that the ink flow for this medium nib is decent. In regard to some reverse writing, it is a little bit sharp, but it does lay down an extra, extra fine line. And then in regard to some fast writing, The feed has no issues in keeping up. So there we have the Stilo and Stile and Radius Settimo Desiderio. Uh, like I had mentioned before, it's going to be available at, uh, at 6 p.m. Italian time on October 31st. Don't forget to use that discount code. And like I said, if this is something that interests you, then I would... Uh, uh, I would take advantage of it sooner rather than later because these have a tendency to uh, to sell out. Their special editions do. Uh, and I think this one will be very popular as well. And it's a decent price. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.